As Breast Cancer Awareness Month begins to wind down, we are continuing our coverage with a two-time breast cancer survivor who was also misdiagnosed four times. She eventually started an organization called It's In The Genes in order to help minority women get information on screenings and support for those who are fighting the disease. Vicki, I am so happy to meet you and have you here on Great Day Washington. How are you? I am great and thank you for this awesome opportunity. Absolutely. You know, you and I have gone through something very similar that a lot of women in the world have gone through. You are a two time cancer survivor, correct? Yes, I am. And misdiagnosed four times? Correct. So I feel you on that. I was misdiagnosed twice and we hear more and more of these stories. So you've mm -hmm. taken this battle that you have been fighting and going through and are giving back and started a nonprofit. What kind of led to all of this? Well, I when I went through my first treatment, when I was diagnosed, there was no organizations that I could find to assist me with anything. Uh, they all wanted to give me T-shirts or make a donation, and I needed help. Mm -hmm. So I started writing down all the organizations that could help me so that when I went to my chemo treatment, I could share it with the other ladies because I figured if I didn't know, they didn't know. Right. So it's called in your or it's it's in the genes. It's, I want to get that right. It's in the genes, yes. Because think about it, all chronic diseases and health disparities they're in your genes. You wear them every day. Vicky, you are helping so many people going through this fight, just like you did. But how has starting it's in your genes and helping others helped you? Well, it's ignited a fight in me that I I I just want to help women in my community. Mm -hmm. My mother told me that when you take the, the stress off of you and you help someone else, you know, that's what we're supposed to do in the community. So God really gave me it's in the genes to help others in the community. And I enjoy working with women and making sure that they know the resources that's available to them. And we work with just not the DMV, but all over the world. And you do a lot of advocacy for like the black and minority communities too, right? Why was that such a focus and why is there a disparity there? Because the numbers for African American women, from my understanding, have tripled when it comes to us dying of breast cancer. And there's a lot of reasons, and we can total those reasons together, but the bottom line is we're still dying. Mm. So there's still a lot of work to be done, and that's why I started the Pinky Party, and that's why I make sure wherever I go, I tell my husband, I'm sorry, I've got to tell my business because when we share breast cancer, we never share the good side of breast cancer. There is a good side of breast cancer, and that is we're surviving. We just have to get that message out there. And real quick, before I let you go, your breast cancer surgery toolkit was something that you were able to participate in. What is that and how is it helping people? That is an awesome toolkit that the American College of Surgeons have put together, you can go on their website and that just walks you through the steps. Uh, and I'm a part of that, I'm featured in that on breast cancer, your journey at how it's done and when it's done. And there's a lot of great information on there that will explain and answer a lot of your questions. Vicki, you are a fighter and a queen, just like that crown sitting on your head. You much deserve that. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. your story. Thank you. And thank you for allowing me to share my story and many blessings with you as well. Thank you. She is amazing. Thank you, Vicki. And in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, our team here at WUSA 9 is working with the Three Bees Foundation to collect money to make bosom buddy baskets. They are filled with comfort items for local patients who must go through a mastectomy. And for every $150 raised, a basket will be sent to a local patient. So to donate now and show your support, just point your phone camera at this QR code and then click the link that pops up. You can also go to our website, WSA9.com. And we would also love for you to join us virtually this Friday, October 29th for our still standing event. It starts at 8 a.m. And to register, you just text the word awareness to 833-987-29. Two nine.